Hi, I'm David Peterson. I've recently illustrated an edition of Kenneth Graham's classic Wind in the Willows. And to help me illustrate that, I made a lot of practical models that I could use for drawing reference and also to help me figure out what the world should look like visually in three dimensions. Um, in this video, I wanted to show off uh, a piece of Toad Hall estate, which is the outside of the carriage house. This is a very simple uh, model, so to speak, uh, air quotes around model. There's a, a point where Toad is showing off his, his brand new caravan, which I've shown in a previous video, uh, to Toad, or to, uh, to Mole and Rat. And I looked at various carriage houses. I looked at the estate of Maple Durham, which is what Toad Hall is, is typically based on visually. Um, it's what Ernest Shepard based uh, a lot of his illustrations of, of Toad Hall on. I looked at the Maple Durham estate for buildings in that area. I looked at various carriage houses um, doing research. At, and it got a little overwhelming. And what I realized was to show the carriage house, all I really needed were the doors. So I actually started by just taking a sheet of chipboard, which is what the back of uh, uh, sketch pads are made out of, and I made one door. Um, I really liked that door, and I said, oh, I should have I done this a little different, because uh, I hand drew all the details on here, which meant that I had to hand draw all the details on, on yet another. Now on this one, this is just the, the paper. This isn't, uh, this isn't the chipboard, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Once I had the, the doors made, I laid them down on a piece of Bristol board. This is uh, illustration board. And I traced out around it, and then I traced a wider gap for the trim. I just used a T-square to measure out uh, some brick spacing, and did the same along this way, avoiding every other uh, row so that the, uh, the mortar lines were in the right places. And then I drew this door, the second bay of doors, um, I just drew that one right on the Bristol. There's, there's no chipboard there. Um, these are just hinged on using painter's tape. Uh, in fact, they won't open all the way because of that. But this allowed me to just set this up on a desk. In fact, with the doors partway open, it stands on its own. And then place the caravan in front of it. And visually, with a camera, uh, get over it and be able to maybe reposition the wagon a little bit, rotate it so I can see more of the side or less of the side. I can move my camera up, get a little bit higher angle or lower angle. I can figure out if the doors are creating awkward tangents, the edge of the door with anything on the caravan. And I could come up with a, a, a setting, a, a visualization setting, uh, a layout, a composition for how I wanted this scene to look. So a very simple model, um, just really three, three pieces, uh, a piece of Bristol board, two pieces of chipboard, uh, and some hours and time in just to be able to make uh, sure that that illustration had all the right kind of compositional elements and, and worked out. I was also in a struggle with myself as a model maker wanting to make a model of Toad Hall itself, but realizing that practically it didn't make sense. Uh, and so there aren't any models of Toad Hall uh, in its entirety. Um, but there are some of some of the interior rooms, which I hope to show off in a later video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy my edition of Wind in the Willows. Thanks for watching.